Hi everyone, my name is Antoine Laudan and today I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to our paper Unraveling the Dynamics of Stable and Curious Audiences in Web Systems, which is joint work with Rodrigo Alves, Renato Asensao, Pedro Vaj de Milo and Marius Glatt. We're interested in characterizing time series whose timestamps correspond to various events on the web, such as clicks, likes or search queries to various websites. For instance, consider the two examples on the screen which record the number of YouTube search queries in the United States for Michael Jackson and Barack Obama, respectively. One observation that's quick to make is that in both cases, the time series appear to alternate between two types of behavior. On the one hand, we have calm periods where the visits occur at an approximately constant rate. On the other hand, we also have more chaotic and unpredictable periods, such as the period around the black line in the first graph, which actually corresponds to Michael Jackson's death. The stable activity corresponds to the so-called stable audience of fans who are consistently interested in the topic. The chaotic behavior is associated to the so-called curious users from the general population who were temporarily enticed to interact with the topic by some external event. One more interesting point to make here is that the background level of stable activity can itself actually be permanently altered by such external events. For instance, on the graph on the right, we can see a consistently diminished amount of interest in Barack Obama after the end of his second term in office. Mathematically, we modeled the bursty viral behavior via the so-called self-feeding process, or SFP, and we model the faces of consistent behavior as Poisson processes, whose intensities may change around each occurrence of a burst. More specifically, we actually have an additional latent process, which generates the transitions in background intensity, and whose own intensity function is directly proportional to the intensity of the SFP process. So that corresponds to the intuition that transitions are more likely to occur around bursts. One issue that makes the problem particularly difficult is that we cannot observe the labels. For each timestamp, we don't know whether it's attributable to a curious user or a fan from the stable audience. And that's why these labels become latent variables in our model, which results in the likelihood function on the screen, which we then optimize approximately via an EM algorithm. Another difficulty is that the E step makes use of the conditional distribution of the latent variables, which cannot be explicitly computed in our case. To tackle this, we construct a Gibbs sample as approximated. On various real-life data sets, what we've observed is that our model can indeed find a better fit for the observations as evaluated by the coefficient of determination of the associated regression problem. Our model allows us to derive interpretable information about the occurrence of viral transitions and to characterize any permanent changes in the background stable audience, as can be seen in the examples on the screen. If you're interested in further details, don't hesitate to come around and visit us at the poster session. That's it from me today. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is